Hi, my name is Chris. In this video, I'll show you how to post to a forum in Moodle, both as a reply and by creating a new discussion topic. After this, we'll learn how to search a forum in Moodle. And lastly, we'll review how to reply to a post in Moodle. So first, let's navigate to our sample forum. Let's make sure to take note of the icon that indicates a forum, which are these two blue and green chat bubbles. By clicking on the link, we're brought to the forum introductory page. At the top of the page will usually be a description of what the forum is talking about. And beneath this, we can see discussion topics that have already been posted. Now in between these two content blocks is a button which reads, Add a new discussion topic. By clicking on this button, I'm brought to this page. And again, at the top of the page, we have a description of the forum we are posting into. Though below this are now two text fields, the first of which is for our post's subject line. Since this is an introduction forum, I will simply use my name for the subject line. Now beneath the subject line and above the message field, we see a large array of formatting options, many of which you may already be familiar with though I would like to point out one very particular option, and that is the Paste from Word button located here. If we have a lengthy reply with very particular formatting aspects, such as lists or block quotes, we can type out our reply in a program such as Microsoft Word or LibreOffice and use this button to paste our specially formatted text into Moodle. So, I will click the Paste from Word button, and a pop-up window appears. Now, I will switch to my word processing program. I will use Control or Command A to select all of the text. Next, I will use Control or Command C to copy the text. And now, I will return to Moodle in my browser, and I will use Control or Command V to paste the content into Moodle's pop-up window. Now, after reviewing the text and being satisfied with it, I will click the green Insert button in the lower left part of the pop-up window to insert this text into the Message Text field. Now, let's take a look at the Subscription option that is just below our Message Text field. This will allow us to receive emails whenever someone replies to our forum post. Now, when you're satisfied with the content settings you've chosen, you can click this button at the bottom of the page that reads Post to Forum to submit your post to the forum. Now, let's learn how to search forums on Moodle. In the top right portion of all of our forum pages will be this search field and search button. Since this is an introduction forum, I would like to see if anyone has any similar interests. So I'm going to use the search term soccer and click search forums. I am returned with the list of all the posts in the forum that contain the word soccer in this case. And my search term is highlighted in each of the responses. Note that the search function searches the content of the message field and not the contents of the subject line. Now, I will choose to see this post in context using this link here. This will bring me to the post as it is seen within the forum. And here, I can reply if I would like to. I'm brought to a page that we ought to be rather familiar with. At the top of the page, we are given a description of the post that we are posting to. And beneath this, we see our subject line and our message field. We do have the option of changing the subject line if we would like to. And I'm just simply going to put a simple message here. I want to check to make sure that I'm receiving email copies of any posts to this forum or this specific post. And when I'm satisfied, I'll click this button at the bottom of the page that reads Post to Forum. It is worth noting that forums can be graded, so you will want to pay particular attention to each of the descriptions of the forums you are posting into. This concludes our Moodle video forum. For more information and help using Moodle, please go to the Moodle support site. Thank <laughs> you.